Hey, it's John from NAC here again. So now you're ready to take the first step in the app building process. Let's start by getting familiar with the way you can structure your data in NAC. Each NAC app is powered by an online database that stores your data and organizes how it all works together. Your first step is to define the data for your app. You do that in the data section of the NAC dashboard. Data refers to the logic of how the data is organized within your database. It's a grouping of related tables, and tables are where the data is stored in columns and rows, just like a spreadsheet. They help you find and access the data you need, and it makes it easy to see the relationships between the different types of data. For example, if you have customers that need to submit service requests, you can create separate tables and connect them to view requests grouped by each customer. In the NAC dashboard, columns are called fields. Fields are each piece of data you want to collect and manage, and each field can be a different type, including text, number, or multiple choice. Here, for example, let's build a member directory app and add the table to track the member details we need to capture. The fields we need to create in this case would be things like name, email, and phone number. Adding a field allows you to customize its settings, such as changing a label, making it required, or setting a validation or conditional rule. Once your tables are defined, you can add records to the records section of the dashboard. These are rows related to each field. So that's it. You've now taken the first step and started setting up your data and tables. Congrats, let's keep going.